In this video, I'm going to show you a super simple way that you can send and collaborate on massive files. So recently I had somebody email me and ask me for the native version or the project file for a video that I had created a while back. Now, if you're pretty familiar with this channel, you know that I work in Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Pro libraries as they're known are comprised of projects as well as footage and audio and everything that's made up of a particular project. I know, even though it's called a library, it's still for a project. But the bottom line is that I just had a massive file that I needed to send to this person. So what I typically do when I have larger files is I upload them to Backblaze. Backblaze have done videos in the past about how you can connect using Transmit if you're on a Mac, or you can also use Cyberduck if you're on Windows or Mac. But for whatever reason, I keep running into this problem, regardless of what software that I use that's trying to connect to Backblaze or Amazon S3, is that halfway through the process of uploading the file, there's some sort of weird error and it fails. There's also services like Dropbox or Google Drive, but the problem is that a lot of these max out at like one terabyte. Well, this particular file that I'm working with is around 250 gigabytes. So you do the math, that's gonna fill up that space really quickly. And they're either going to max it out and say that, sorry, you've hit your limit and you can't upload any more files, or they're just gonna start charging an incredible amount for me to upload and continue uploading big project files. So this led me on a little bit of a treasure hunt, trying to find a solution to this problem, a way that I can regularly send giant video project files to people if and when I need to. As it turns out, I happened to find a service that not only enables me to send these gigantic files whenever I need to, but also unlimited. So any file size and as many of these as I want to send, I can send through the service. And even as a bonus, they've got a extra feature built into it that makes it super simple to collaborate on these files as well. So without trying to describe it in any more detail, let's do a quick walkthrough and show you some of my favorite features that are built into a service by the name of WeTransfer. Okay, so here we are in WeTransfer. Now, one of the cool things that I'll mention right up front about this is that you're actually able to add your own branding. So at some point, I'm gonna actually add in a video that loops right here. Um, but so if you're gonna be sending this to your clients or any of the files that you're sending, you can make it nice and professional. You don't have to worry about a big gigantic Dropbox or Google logo or something like that. It can kind of look like it truly is yours. And then you actually can pick your own domain as well. So a nice little touch beyond on just being able to upload files. Okay, but let's say you've got a, like I said, a giant file that you're trying to send to someone. So let's go ahead and pop in here. Let's say I've got some drone footage that I've recently shot and I want to be able to send this to someone. Well, all you gotta do is take that file and drag it right onto WeTransfer. Of course, once you've already gone through and created your account, and then you can give it a title. So let's say this is cool drone footage. So if you want to add a little message in here, you can do that as well. And you can send multiple files at once. You just, you don't just have to send it one at a time. So then the next thing that you can do is you've got some options here. Now you can send this as an email. So you can click this and it will email and have a button in there and it'll be all, tr all formatted and everything so that it can look the way that you want it to look, or you can do what I do, which is just get transfer link. I usually work in something like Basecamp or Slack, so it's very rare I need to quote unquote email someone a file. I'm already usually collaborating with them. I just need a way to send them the file with a link. Then you can go in here and you can select the expires after options. You can pick how long this link will be active or alive. You also have the option to set a password as well. So if security is going to be something that is important to you while you're working on this particular project or sending these files, you can set a password but I really do that on my end. So that looks good to me. So I don't have any other files that I need to upload. So all I gotta do is click get a link. As you'll see here, it'll start the uploading process. And one of the things that I really like about this and not even some of the transfer apps that I've used in the past to connect to like Backblaze or things like that, didn't have this simple little option or the simple little feature I should say, which just tells you how long estimated it has left for the upload. And obviously a big part of this will have to do with your internet Internet connection. So whatever your upload speed is going to determine how fast you're going to be able to upload your file. So again, the giant file that I uploaded recently for somebody I was working with, 
250 gigs took almost a day. So it all depends upon how fast your upload speed is. But the cool thing is that you don't need any third party software or apps. You can just upload straight in the browser. And there we go. It looks like it has now finished transferring or uploading. And then we can just copy that link. So let's go ahead and open that in a new browser window so we can kind of get a, an idea of what that's going to look like for the client when I send them this file. So it shows the nice little branding that I've updated for my account, which if they just click on that, by the way, it's cool. It goes to a link to your website or wherever you want, uh, but it shows that title and then it shows the message and then it shows the individual file. Now this probably hasn't finished encoding yet, but the cool thing is that you can click this little magnifier and once it finishes encoding the video, it can actually, they can preview it and view it right there. So really cool little feature. But if you're not working with video or you're just wanting them to be able to download it, obviously they just click this little button to start downloading the file. So that's really cool. It's nice that you're able to go in here and send files to people, get the link and it's drag and drop simple. But as I mentioned, there's another feature built into WeTransfer that I personally, I'm going to be finding endlessly useful, particularly as I start taking on new video clients. Now, what you're able to do here is you're able to create these things called portals. And essentially a portal is a product or a project. And you're gonna go in here and here's one that I recently created just for testing. And you're able to give it a title, a subtitle, and you can even upload the logo of the particular client with which you are working. So let's go ahead and pop back in here. Let's just create an, another test one so you can kind of see this in action. So let's say this is our drone shot. Let's make another one very similar to the one that I had created previously. And then you're going to create what's called a review. So if you are a photographer, if you're a videographer like me, if you're a designer, a developer, if you're a musician, any type of creative where you're creating files that you need your client or your company or your customer to review, this is great. You just create a new review and a review you can just think of as kind of a round of feedback or even just a collection of files that you need them to have access to. So all I have to do is click on upload files or even easier, I can just pop on over here, drag right onto the browser and then it will just start uploading these files. And again, obviously this is going to be determined, heavily determined upon your upload speed based upon how fast these upload. But the cool thing is that they all get queued at the same time and they upload simultaneously to help make sure the process goes a little bit faster. Now, fortunately, what's cool about this as well is you don't have to just sit here waiting for these to upload. You can just click next. And while these are uploading, you can go through and finish your review. So let's say this is version one drone shot. So let's say that this is the first round of shots I've taken and I want them, the client to be able to review these, provide feedback, and as well as to download these. Now up here, you'll see what is it that you are specifically re requesting of the client you're working with. So maybe you just want them to be able to see this. Maybe you want them to pick uh, the favorites. And then you're also able, maybe you wanna go in here and you want these to be signed off on. Either they're gonna provide feedback or they're gonna click the little checkbox to say, I approve. Or maybe you just wanna be able to down, send them files to download. Maybe you've finished the project and you now wanna send them all the final files. You can specify that here. This is my first round of drone shots and I want them to be able to approve them. Uh, or obviously provide feedback. Then you get to pick what you want to allow them to do with this review. Do you want them to comment and go in here and provide, you know, if it's a video time stamped revisions or feedback on the project that you're working on, or maybe you just want these to be downloaded, or maybe you only want comments and maybe a charge extra for the raw files that they're reviewing. And so you don't want them to be able to download. Those options are available to you, but I want them to be able to do both. So I'll just go ahead and click that option. We'll click next. And the last thing that we have to do is we want to provide email addresses to which we send these. Now, this isn't necessarily so that they can access all of this in an email. Instead, what it is, is they're gonna be able to create a free WeTransfer account themselves to gain access to this. So if they already have a WeTransfer account, you're gonna wanna add that here. So if they don't have one, they'll be sent an email through which they'll be able to set up their free account in order to access this. So just add in all of the email addresses to which you want to provide access to this particular portal and this uh, revision set. Next up, you can actually have it send email reminders. So if you're on a deadline or you just need to make sure that the client or the customer, whoever's re reviewing this is doing so quickly, you can add in reminders that get sent. And then you can also add in a separate message 
please review drone shots. And then you can send that as well. Now, uh, and then you are ready to send it. Obviously these haven't all finished uploading. So we just need to wait for these to upload and then we can publish the review. While we are waiting, however, you'll notice as well, if you want to, you can actually click to add a note. So if you want to add specific details or information that they might need to know about this, they can do that. And you can do that in this little note section. Okay, so it looks like it has finally finished uploading and now they're just processing those videos so that they're able to be reviewed. But the cool thing is you can go in here and you can reorder these, you can trash them. And it's got the little icon in there to signify that you're looking for a re uh, approval or sign off on each of these things, but we are now ready to publish that review. And so here we go. This is pretty close to what the client would see once they have been sent the link to access this particular portal. The other cool thing is that they've got some reports in here that you can see. You can see which items were approved. You can get a bird's eye view of all the comments. You can see the items to which there was no activity. So really cool. You can see the thumbnail of these. And then of course you can click off into these. It's just a great way to be able to access and go through all of the information related to all the items that you have for your client to review. And then let's say we've got right here waiting for waiting for one reviewer. This is where they would be able to obviously we're the one who sent it. We're not the reviewer, but they'd be able to check to sign off on this. But the really cool thing about this, if particularly if you happen to be working with video, is that you can actually allow somebody to watch the video, click stop, and then as you can see, it time stamps the comment. So maybe you want them to add some text to this particular part of the video. So if you work with video, this is incredibly valuable because you can get very detailed and specific time stamped feedback on the video. It's still useful if you're a designer or a photographer or anyone else who is trying to get feedback on specific items. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to assume you can do the same thing with audio files. So if you do voiceovers, if you do music, you should be able to do the same thing that you can do with videos in terms of doing time stamped or getting time stamped feedback on projects that you're working on. Then if for whatever reason the email doesn't come through or something like that, you can always just copy at the bottom that URL that it gives you and they're going to be able to have access to that particular portal. So beyond this, as I mentioned, you've got some branding options. You can go in here, you can change the name, you can get a custom domain in here or subdomain, I should, should say. You can upload your own background image as well as a video or you can pick from their gallery. So really cool features built in. They've also got some a contact section. So if you'd like to regularly keep track of people who are sending or uh, to whom you are sending files to. You can keep track of those people, particularly if you send them regularly. Then you can also go through here and you can see all of the transfers that you've made. So these aren't necessarily things in the portals, but it, just right here on this page, if you've just been sending people files, you can go back and see which files you've sent, whether or not they've been downloaded, and any other uh, stats or data that revolves around them. One last thing that I wanted to mention that is so cool about this and something that I couldn't do in something like Dropbox or at least not easily is provide people the ability to send you files. So all that you have to do is just send somebody your URL and then they're going to be able to send you files just as you send them files. Now, if they've got, they'll still have to create an account uh, with an email address that gets verified but they can send you files of up to two gigabytes for free. So if you ever need a client to be able to send you files and they keep saying, sorry, it's 10 megabytes and my email service provider won't let me send it, say here, go right through this link, drag and drop a file, write me a message, and then you can send me a file. And then for you, you'll get, you'll receive an email, but then also under your transfers, you'll be able to click on received and you'll be able to see all the files other people are sending you as well. Now, in terms of the plans, as I mentioned, you can create a free account, which allows you to send up to two gigabytes. They've got a pro, which allows you to send up to 200 gigabytes. But like I said, I work with video. So a lot of my files are gonna be in excess of 200 gigabytes. Like I said, the one I sent earlier was 250 gigs. So for just somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 bucks a month, you're gonna be able to send unlimited files of unlimited size with unlimited por portals in here as well, which is, in my opinion, a pretty crazy deal, particularly once you start realizing how much you're going to spend using something like Amazon S3 or Backblaze B2 once you start accumulating files over time. So a uh, really powerful and easy to use platform and pretty incredibly affordable too for how much you're going to be able to get and upload 
not just with file size, but also with collaboration. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this with you, particularly as I'm going to be using this a lot in the future. Now, I do happen to have a referral link if you would like to get $10 if you sign up for one of the pro versions. I also get $10 as well if you sign up don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it's a super powerful tool. And I think if you're any type of creator, particularly if you work with video or photo or design, anything where you're sending people files, I think that this is a must, at least something that you wanna try with their free version. So as always, if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, share it as well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.